These emergency responders from Callaway County work on an infant in distress. One, two, three. It's a hands-on simulation that's very close to the real thing. And it's just one of more than 100 different life-saving scenarios the staff and specialized equipment can offer, from cardiac arrest and trauma to delivering babies. High fidelity mannequins uh, that have pulses, they breathe on their own, uh, they can show heart rhythms, and when the crews encounter these patients in real life, uh, they're better trained for it. The 38-foot-long, specially equipped MU School of Medicine truck offers two training rooms and a high-tech control room to run the simulations. Everything that you would expect to see on a real patient, the simulators will model what is happening to the body as it's being taken care of. Callaway County emergency responder Casey Heiberger says this training took about 30 to 40 minutes with a short debrief of what went right and what could be improved in the future. Even if we did mess up, we would rather mess up on a mannequin and then be able to get it right on an actual patient. This custom built simulation unit will travel the state of Missouri, providing 20 free trainings between now and July, thanks to a federal grant from the Health Resources and Services Administration. The demand for rural training seems to be relatively high because a lot of times the entities don't have access to the kind of advanced trainers that we have at the university. The blood glucose is 86. This mobile unit can do single day trainings or be on site for multiple days at rural hospitals, making it one of a kind in the show me state. Lots of bang for the buck, a great asset for Missouri overall. From the University of Missouri, I'm Teresa Snow.